What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another trainer, I suppose. Well, it's not a trainer guide. I've already, I will be doing the individual training guides, but we'll touch on a few little bits and pieces. We're looking at the Bayern Munich big time and epics, right? We've got three pretty decent players. Elber is probably the weak link, but this guy is an absolute monster. Now, he's a bit before my time, lads. He is a bit before my time, but when he's scoring goals like this, you know that he's going to be overpowered in the game, right? I mean, this is David Beckham in different clothing, really, a different jersey, because that is an insane strike, right? We also have one of my favorite Demichelis. I used him, you know, so well and so many times, um, as often as I possibly could, recreating that famous goal, of course. I used him so many times, uh, his other card, and it was a beast. And then we also have Elber, right? So we're just going to do a quick breakdown and a, and, a, and a bit of a review on it. Um, not so much talk about it. I don't like seeing that 180 spin. Uh, that is the same issue that I have with the passing, but we'll get into that again, right? Anyway, on to the contract itself. Check out my other videos if you want individual training, guys, where we go in deep and I mean deep with these players, because these two boys are definitely worth um, going for. If you have, you know, if you're going to be spinning, um, they're definitely worth training up if you do get them, right? So we're going to just take a quick look at all these players and give a brief review. Elber is a bit of a miss for me, lads. He's meh, right? He isn't actually even that good. I would, listen, as, as with every player, right? It's like with Collar, right? I would not recommend Collar to anybody, right? Because Collar is a very difficult player to use for the average player in terms of if you're not going to play exactly to his player style and his player skill set, you're not going to have any joy with him, right? So I would definitely not recommend certain players. And Elber just doesn't hit any note. I've played at him before. He just doesn't hit any note. Um, this car will be quite decent. It does train up quite decent. I have done a full trainer gu uh, guide for all these cards. And they will be up later if they're not up already. But he has 88 finishing here, 94 awareness, 77 balance, 84 acceleration. I've actually gone with more balance here to 78. And I explained that in the video. I'm testing out a few things. But other than that, it's just not a good enough card, lads, um, with this pack, right? Obviously, if you're going to be spinning this pack... You have, you know, one out of 150 chance of getting him. So, you know, if you are going spinning for the other two boys, I think they are fairly unique. But the rest of the players in this pack, you know, it's not really worth spinning for, lads, in my opinion. There's nobody else there that you could kind of be happy with, apart from a couple of the new Bayern Munich players, right? Demichelis, this guy is pretty decent as well. Anchorman CB, perfect for... Uh, I would say playing a 3-5-2 where you have Demichelis as your DMF and then you can do sub-tactic if you go up or you want to defend the lead or you're chasing the game, you can go back into that tree and put him DMF and bring on a, another centre uh, forward or an attacking midfielder or whatever. Um, he is a really good card. I do like the card when you train him up. You can train him up in multiple different ways. Uh, with this build that you're seeing on screen here, it's a DMF build. I have covered a CB build as well. The best possible build for him, I would say, for CB is extremely overpowered with the way that I've trained him up so make sure and check that out as well but this guy is kind of falls in i think between either an absolute monster for you or somebody that is just way too slow right if you're used to playing with a little bit more nimble center backs that are able to just completely dominate on the ground such as timber or rinaldo or alaba or any of those boys right marquinhos or if you're used to playing with like giants, like really, really tall defenders and powerful defenders that are slow, but that are able to kind of like do a lot when they don't have the ball, aggressive and all that sort of stuff, right? This guy kind of falls in between both, that you have to be able to play a little bit of ball with him, but he's also, a, you know, a tiger in defense, right? He's so good and he's so aggressive and he's definitely a very underrated player, especially his other free card that they were available for free. Super, super slow. This card is even slower, but this guy was uh, this guy was a machine, lads. He was a machine. He handled way slower than his stats per, uh, showed. This kind of is more accurate with his stats, 57. But this guy has got so many better player skills, including blocker. And, of course, he does have um, all the player skills that you see here as well. Uh, he does have interception. He does have area superiority. But he's got way to pass rising shots and all that stuff as well. So he is another good player. And then last but not least, we have got... Probably the, the highlight player that he's never featured before. And as I said, lads, he's an old style player. People have probably haven't even heard of him. I had to look him up on YouTube, to be honest with you. Um, you know, because he was before my time, obviously. This card is from 1989, right? I wasn't even born, lads. I wasn't even born. So 1989 is going back a long time, okay? Um, so it's just, you know, a card that probably a lot of people like old school fans. I like this though, man. I definitely like this. I like that there's new kind of old school legends coming. 
This guy is a really good player. He reminds me of Beckenbauer. That's what he reminds me of. Um, he definitely has that kind of like build, that style, this player skills. But he does have blocker, man marking. He doesn't have interception. He doesn't have heading, aerial superiority, or acrobatic clearance. So there is a bit of a project with this guy, lads. There is definitely a bit of a project with him that you're not going to just fit him in like Demi Kelly's and have his role set out for him. This guy definitely does need a bit of... I would say, you know, if you are going to be making this guy, I've already touched upon it, but you definitely need two out of the four here. If you have four, holy moly, he's going to be unbelievable. But area superiority, interception, and heading are a must on this card, depending on how you train him up, right? So we've him trained up here um, with 88 defensive awareness and a bit of dexterity. I do have another build on the channel as well. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Algonteler is a, f a fantastic player. Um, and definitely one to watch, right? So that is it for me. Let's just a quick review in the Bayern Munich players. As I said, I go into a lot more de detail with the training guides. You seem to enjoy the individual training guides. So hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know anything in the comments below. And I'll talk to you in a bit.